Hi, I'm Andrew Angelan, creator of the training The Right One For Me, which has evolved over 24 years now. In this video, I'm going to show you the solutions to the three biggest mistakes women over 40 make with online dating. It's around 15 minutes, so you might want to switch off any distractions. So let's get to the first and worst mistake and its solution. I call it honouring your unique partner essentials. So what do I mean by partner essentials? They're the unique and no compromise positive qualities you need to have in your partner and in your relationship. Just as important, your partner essentials include the no compromise negative qualities that must not be in your partner and in the relationship. Honouring your partner essentials means the difference between deep happiness and harmony or telling yourself, well, you can't have everything and enduring months or even years of suffering. I often remind my clients how important it is to have head and heart in harmony and your head really must talk to your heart about your partner essentials. I often hear comments something like this, well, there are so many options online. Surely it shouldn't take too much time and effort to find the right one for me. That's how you'd like it to be. The same as your eyes meeting across a crowded room and knowing straight away he is the one for you. But that's so rare and mostly only in movies. So let's forget that appealing fantasy. Would you agree with me that your lifelong partner should be your emotional home. I'd like you to imagine you were getting built your dream home to live in for maybe the rest of your life. You would absolutely have to make a plan for what is essential and then what is important or just a preference and so could be compromised on. Just reflect for a moment on how many hours you would happily devote to the planning and preparation why is choosing your lifelong partner, your emotional home, any less deserving of your careful reflection, your time and planning? So the very first step is uncovering and revealing your hidden and not so obvious partner essentials. Because that's what will keep you from wasting time on men who aren't in alignment with what's absolutely essential to you. Start by really remembering just how precious your time is. What if any hidden fatal flaws you or your partner discovered in the other after many months could have been revealed right at the beginning? Yes, instead of after all those messages and meetings and all those miles of travelling. Of course, you know the obvious shopping list type of essentials you need, but research shows very few people are aware of their hidden and not so obvious partner essentials. Here's one for example. I actually need a really affectionate and tactile relationship during the day, not just when we're intimate. Not becoming aware of your less obvious partner essentials or pretending they're not really essential will lead you to settle for what is totally unhealthy for you. You'll find yourself forgiving or constantly overlooking behaviours you find painful, or telling yourself it's not so bad really because other aspects of the relationship are great. Or you might start excusing your partner's painful behaviours by telling yourself, or friends telling you, well, you can't have everything, or the perfect person just doesn't exist. Or you might think, well, it's all new at the moment, it'll probably get better, but it won't. It'll very likely get worse. So the first key to a truly happy and harmonious relationship is for you to uncover your not so obvious partner essentials because you can't honour your uncovered partner essentials until you're crystal clear what they all are and write them all down. And also you can't honour them if you're too embarrassed to own up to some of them. And you might feel for some of your essentials, well, no one will match that. Actually, there will be people who match what you think of as your unattractive essentials. For example, one woman wrote, he must accept that I'm prone to depression. There absolutely will be men who will accept and support that. 
In fact, there will be men who will happily accept the limitations of any medical condition you may have. My training shows you that well-tried and tested ways to do this uncovering process for revealing your not-so-obvious partner essentials. Now, the second biggest mistake is that instead of being ruled healthily by your partner essentials to guide your choice of men, you are ruled by your restrictive or your outdated habits and biases. I call these your toxic biases. A typical one is being too specific about physical appearance or characteristics. For example, setting that minimum height might easily exclude by one inch the most wonderfully compatible man. Also, be very aware of setting geographic limits which are too narrow. Someone may be quite open to relocating without you knowing. And you can use email and video calls to establish quickly if there's a great compatibility before ever travelling to meet. Ask yourself, does it really matter if the right one for me lives a long way off or even in another country if he's willing to relocate to be with me? Also, be on the lookout for qualities you've been drawn to as my type, but which have often shown toxic side effects for you. For example, does that confidence you've always been drawn to often turn out to be arrogance or a wandering eye that you despise? A good way of unearthing some of your unconscious toxic biases is to write a list of the difficult or negative qualities you experienced in your parents when you were a child. You'll be amazed how some of these parental negative qualities mysteriously showed up in your past partners. So these will be the unconscious ones in your toxic biases unless you become aware of them by writing that list. So you must become as aware as possible of your own toxic biases which have been ruling you. They'll still be there, including very unhealthy ones, but you can consciously choose to override them and not settle for a man who doesn't really harmonise with your partner essentials and doesn't really admire and cherish you. So now the third biggest mistake. It's not finding out as quickly as possible just how much or how little a man matches absolutely all of your unique partner essentials. Only checking for a match on just a few of them is usually because you've never discovered what all of them are for you. Or it's because you tell yourself, well, those few matches are a good start. To avoid this mistake, you need to get crystal clear on what really are all of your partner essentials. Then which are not essential, although important to you, and which are just your preferences which would please you. Then, for the time being, you must ignore all except your partner essentials and only focus on those. Without that clarity, you'll have a vague mental shopping list of ideal qualities and that will block you from potentially wonderful matches. Why? Because ideal qualities are always a completely jumbled up mix of your essentials, what's important but not essential, and your preferences. You absolutely have to focus only on your essentials to start with. Some women still feel like using the conventional way to discover compatibility. They just keep on meeting, start a sexual relationship and sooner or later fatal flaws will be discovered. Or much less likely a rare harmony will emerge. But most women just can't afford all that time and energy for 20-somethings trial and error. And what if you live quite a long distance from each other or in different countries? Most of the checking for matching all your partner essentials needs to be done before meeting up. Why? It's because if you become quite attracted on meeting, what I call the fog of infatuation can completely hijack your brain's ability to see a man clearly. Now, you'll very likely see only what you want to see or simply overlook any red flags. And if you do continue to check for matches with the essentials you hadn't yet checked, you'll very likely rationalise about any mismatches. You'll tell yourself something like this. Well, chemistry is more important than having someone who really listens to me. And anyway, he might become a better listener if I encourage him. But the truth is, if a man really doesn't match one of your partner essentials, 
even during the so-called honeymoon phase. Later on, the mismatch will get worse. There's been huge amounts of research done since 1979 on the various brain chemicals that get triggered by so-called limerence or new relationship energy. These studies show that surges of dopamine, adrenaline and oxytocin are the most responsible for the high of new attraction and that the release of these brain chemicals actually mimics the effect of cocaine. This isn't the time to go into more detail or speculate why the body generates these neurotransmitters. Just remember, they make you see mostly what you want to see and also make you strangely blind to what you don't want to see. The huge lesson from all this research and everyone's experience is that the longer you delay meeting up, the more chance you have of finding out if someone truly does or doesn't match all your partner essentials. So what will you do whilst you're delaying meeting up? Well, you could be using the unique ways to check if all your essentials are matched or not, which the right one for me training will show you. And that's only by using messages and video calls. Now, getting onto video calls early on is vital for several reasons. You can watch for body language as you ask the right questions for your essentials. And you can carefully word your questions so that your potential partner isn't tempted to give you the answers you'd like to hear. For example, if you're needing a man who very rarely drinks, you can ask, do you like a drink most nights or just once or twice a week? Now he'll assume you're in one of those categories and he's more likely to be honest if he is like that. But your ideal partner will be visibly shocked and tell you he drinks much less or not at all. A second reason for video calls early on is to check if old pictures have been used. And a third reason is to overcome the mind's dangerous habit of jumping to conclusions and usually favourable when reading dating profiles. So someone says they have a good sense of humour, and maybe already you can almost visualise the two of you at a social event, laughing. You've jumped to the assumption by your own associations that they are sociable. In fact, they could well be an introvert. And, of course, their sense of humour may be completely different and at odds with yours. If someone says they play tennis, you may well unconsciously start to imagine they are physically fit and look after their body. If those are your associations with tennis playing, those fantasies may be complete fiction. They may be quite overweight, play rarely and be slow moving around the court. So video calls are a wonderful reality checker. In fact, with online dating, you actually have a huge advantage over conventional dating. When you meet face to face first, and are attracted, you can't avoid the cocktail of brain chemicals seriously blocking your ability to see a man's undesirable qualities. If you start dating, that's when your friends will likely roll their eyes in disbelief at your blindness to his mismatch with you. So these are the three biggest mistakes I see smart women like you making all the time. They don't get clear on and honour all of their partner essentials. They let their toxic biases rule them and they settle for less than all their essentials being matched. The solution is simple, but it's not always easy. It takes time and effort to really consider and unearth what is absolutely essential to you in your relationships. It takes courage to own up to toxic biases and then honour your truth so that you'll only accept the right man for you. If you'd like my help, and you need to stop wasting your precious time, have a look at my training, The Right One For Me. It shows you in easy practical steps how to uncover your hidden and not so obvious partner essentials and then find out if someone is truly compatible with every single one of your essentials. And it shows you how to do this without ever having to meet in person first, if you prefer. For a man who matches all your essentials, my training also covers how to check if you're a good match to his partner essentials. Quite often, serious mismatches will be revealed. And that's wonderful. Now you can decide that you absolutely don't want to risk devoting your precious time and energy 
in meeting up or exploring a potential relationship. It's spending time and energy on those types of high-risk relationships which will restrict or block you from exploring those who really are a true match. Remember, your toxic biases may still take you over and convince you there's great chemistry which trumps certain mismatches with your essentials. So you'll also learn how to override your toxic biases and hold out for the truly harmonious match you deserve. When you do find a really harmonious match both ways for each person's essentials, then you have a wonderful basis for true compatibility. Why on earth would you settle for less than this? So if you're ready to stop spinning your wheels with online dating and find the right one for you, just click the link below to learn more. That's also where you can get the 12 mistakes women make with online dating and what you can do instead.